Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack and uh, welcome back to the channel. Glad everybody's here with me today. Uh, right now, uh, I'm out here on the golf course. Now, um, my last video that I just did, the uh, poolside camp, you guys all watched that. Didn't really work out uh, the way I thought it was gonna work out. But that's all besides the point. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go back. It's probably the last video right before this one. Watch it. Um, what I'm going to do today for you guys to make up for that is actually do a poolside camp. And uh, that's pretty much the reason why I'm out here on the golf course. Uh, which you can see, um, I'm really not that far. I mean, my house is like right up there. Um, but pretty much... I, you know, I kind of want to try like a little like stealth camping, you know, kind of thing. Um, you know, when I first uh, got into this uh, YouTube mess, uh, uh, a lot of it had to do with, you know, Steve Wallace because I, I was, I just discovered him. I don't even know where I went on YouTube to tell you the truth. But I did and uh, discovered one of his stealth camp videos. I didn't even know what stealth camping was. I didn't know it was a thing. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, obviously you guys, you know, everybody who's here has been watching my stuff. You know I'm not a stealth camper, but um, you know, maybe I might give it a shot. And that's why I came out here on the golf course. Right now it's uh, about 20 minutes till six and on a Friday. Uh, as you guys can see, there is no one out here. So, pretty much, you know, so much for my idea of uh, trying to come out here with this backpack on, walk around to see if, uh, you know, how much attention I actually drew to myself. There's no one out here. I'm not drawing any attention to myself. Um, so, I guess that's a good thing. But uh, what I'm going to do... Um, you know, don't worry. Uh, this is not <laughs> what you guys all want it to be. I mean, is it ever? No. Uh, right now, it is 96 degrees. So it's pretty hot out here. Um, I'm just looking at all of this. And I see a lot of places where I can uh, try and pull off some stealth camps. But, you know, like I said, I've never done it before. And since I disappointed everybody with the poolside camp um, in my last video, I'm going to do sort of a, a poolside camp and a, um, you know, just sort of a gear, gear dump, gear review, gear something to see what I'd actually need to bring if I wanted to do a self camp. I'm just looking at these two trees over here, that one and that one. I wonder what would have happened if I struck a hammock up between those two. See, okay, there's a golfer up there. And here comes another one. These guys are paying absolutely no attention to me. I mean, look at me. I don't know, I guess people don't golf with guns because I'd be the first person I'd shoot. I'll tell you that. Um, I can already tell you I got way too much stuff in this backpack for what I'm gonna be doing today or what I never really need to do. So let's get up here, uh, let's get set up and let's do some practice uh, stealth camping and let's make up for the failure of our poolside camping. All right, somebody knows I'm back. Grillis, I'm back. Here she comes, yep. Did you miss me? You missed me, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're not sleeping in the tent again. Remember what happened last time I slept in the tent? Threw up everywhere. Yeah. Uh, MREs and I, uh, we don't, <laughs> we don't do good. Okay, so poolside camping, practicing for cell shit. Um, here we go poolside you guys have all seen this before if you haven't go back watch my videos you know the drill um so here we go yeah man i think this is gonna be a good one um i'm gonna try and keep it simple uh not go off on so many tangents and all that other stuff but if you guys believe that um i have a nice uh used self-heating pool that i can sell you guys
All right, first things first, I gotta get this uh, backpack off. You know, this is a learning experience. You guys are learning with me. Man alive. I'm just gonna set this over here. I'll show you. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, look at that, man, a lighter fell out. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about fire starting stuff because this uh, red lighter here just fell out of this package. Uh, you know, my knife, which reminds me I don't have my more knife with me. So uh, I think whatever wood processing I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to do with this uh, tops knife. But that's okay. I'll tell you it's hot, so I'm glad this is going to be a poolside camp. Ah, fuck it. I'll show you guys what's in here in just a couple minutes. Um, whew. Man alive. I'm even wearing one of these. Yeah, I got the schmog. Cause you can't go wrong with a schmog. Make sure you guys got yourself a good schmog. Um, I have another one, too. I got a new one, but this is my old one. Don't matter. But yeah, so this moisture wicking stuff, this is good. Uh, I think I got this shirt... Uh, must have got it in Key West, I guess, because it says Half Shell Fish Market, Key West. So, man, I don't remember. I mean, I know I've been there a bunch of times. I just don't remember this particular trip. That's besides the point. All right, so as you can see, the uh, sun is starting to go down here behind the uh, tree. The pool is great. Um, I tell you the temperature of the water, but... Uh, as you guys all know from that nautical misadventure video, I stepped on the thermometer and broke it, and the new thermometer will not be here until tomorrow. Um, yeah. Whew. I'm hot. I'm winded. All right. Um, but yeah. So right down here, uh, this is where I'm planning on camping, just right here on this deck. Um, you guys all know this is outlaw camp. You guys need to suspend your uh, belief in reality. Uh, just use your imagination. You know, like I said before, that's what you got one for. All right. Um, yeah, so first things first, because the bugs are out, man, and it's hot. Um, I'll go in, I'll check the temperature. I just don't feel like getting my phone out because I really want to camp camp. Um, before I do that, though, like I said, look at this, man. Um, you guys should remember this cooler here. This is the backside of it from uh, the other video. The, uh, you know, whatever the last one was, I already told you. I'll flash it down there on the screen. Um, I brought it over here. So, like I said, suspend your belief in reality. Uh, we're going to pretend that we're going to do a stealthy camp on somebody's deck. Okay, we're going to pretend that these are like people that suddenly got called away for some reason. Um, they don't necessarily want you to house sit. Um, they don't really want you there. They don't want you there when you're there. So we're going to pretend that, um, you know, we're just like, man, it's hot. I want to do some camping. I know some people in the suburbs that got a pool. They ain't going to be home. Let's just, you know, trespass in their house. Um, and now, I don't uh, recommend trespassing. Um, I do not endorse it. Don't trespass. Just don't do not do that. But uh, for the sake of this video, let's say, yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm not going to go in anybody's house or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to camp out on their deck by their pool. And, you know, if I get caught, hey, man, I get caught. All right. Um... I'm still, oh, look at this. Look what I got here. All right. Not from fucking solved. Sam Adams Beach Session IPA. Crisp and tropey cal. Tell me this ain't going to be good. It's going to be good. Um. So, yeah. Now, if you don't want to get your, uh, you know, nasty self all over other people's shit, bring a stool with you which is something i would probably bring okay granted i could sit on this uh lawn furniture or whatever but i'm not gonna do that um yeah a backpack way too much stuff Oof. okay this um this is my food that i got for tonight i ain't messing with mres anymore it's right here it's a little tip i borrowed from my buddy l chafe you guys all know about l chafe if you don't 
go down in the description will be a link to El Chafe on there. Oh, I brought my food. I put it in a wet bag, dry bag, I don't know, whatever. Um, you know, it's something he does a lot, and I figured I'd give it a shot today. So that's what I got. Good enough. Oof. There's my new schmog I told you guys about. Um, since, you know, I bring koozies with me, um, you know, because I'm going to have beer. Um, you know, I do not, I don't even want to get into this, but yeah, this is a Saranac koozie. It's just something I had. Um, I'm not a big fan of Saranac beers. doesn't matter. I just got it because, you know, if this is something I lose or burn or whatever, I don't give a fuck. It don't matter. Okay. Set that up. Woof. Yeah, I said little uh, Bass Pro, um, you know, uh, ten dollar stool I got. Whoa! Can you guys see this? The sweat, sweating like a Pollock at a Cossack funeral. Okay, uh, already uh, sweaty smog. Oh man, alive! Whoa, it's hot. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah. And this thing I found in the cooler, uh, it's probably, you know, it's just like cooking. I'm not in the sun, but like I said, it's hot. Um, but yeah, uh, actually, first thing should be first. Uh, okay, what I got here, um, this uh, pouch, you guys might remember this from uh, the Man vs. Mass series. Uh, I've changed it from my... Um, beer carrying pouch to my uh, thermosel pouch. Uh, got a flashlight in here. We'll get to that stuff later. Uh, there's really no reason to have this in a bag other than in case we get a sudden downpour. So this is a new thermosel. I don't know if I've showed you guys this or not. I got a thermosel, you know, uh, the, it says 12 hour fuel cartridge I don't know if I've ever run one for 12 hours but I like to save the caps uh, just for when I throw old ones out uh, then in the front here where I probably kept cigarettes before I uh, got me some more uh, thermosel things now these are probably waterproof uh, you know factory sealed but why take a chance you know So if there's like a sudden downpour and then it starts, you know, raining. You don't want, and the bugs come out. You don't want, uh, you know, your only means of repelling the bugs to uh, not work. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm wearing a hat. What has something to do with me sweating? Uh, visors are much better for that. Okay. Um, just in case, you know, nobody... Look at that. Oh, yeah, I guess that's good enough. Just in case nobody knows how these things work, they're pretty simple. Uh, you just take your cartridge. Screw in here, like this. Uh, figure out how to put the cap on. Yeah, that went surprisingly well. Get out your little knife or whatever. Uh, you probably shouldn't use your teeth to open this. I wouldn't. I don't even like to touch these things. And you know, probably can't see, but whatever. You pop her in there. Rogue knife. Put that away. Pop your thermosel on. I can hear it. I can hear it running. A couple clicks of the old starter button. The uh, thing that sucks about this is, uh, you know, in the uh, daylight, uh, you can't, it's very difficult to see if the thing's burning or not. I mean, I can hear it running. I just heard it light. Okay. I can see some light in there. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to set that there. Um, actually, I think I'm going to set it over there. 6 o'clock, 86 degrees. Much cooler than the last time I was out here. Um, 
I think this should be a pretty good night. I don't know how the weather's supposed to be. I don't think it's going to rain until uh, Sunday, maybe, but we'll worry about that on Sunday. I'm going to give this another shot. Like I said, yeah, you know, I was moving slow all day. But all right, uh, you guys all know what time it is. This being an outlaw camp video, already showed you the beer. We got to get this open. Uh, yeah, in case you don't know, there is a bottle opener in my belt buckle. I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll show you that later. First of the day, fellas, to. Uh, to lurk her on the threshold. Man, that's good. Happy birthday, Dave. Uh, you guys know I talk about uh, my buddy Dave who lives here. Uh, lurker on the threshold. Takes care of my dog. Says a lot of stuff. We've known each other for years. Um, Pretty sure by the time that this video gets posted, uh, his birthday will have come and gone. But it's coming up in the next couple days. Um, you know, like I said, man, I, I don't see this video being posted before that. But what you guys can all do, um, you know, just uh, get yourselves a drink, a beer, you know, whatever. Whatever you drink. Uh, you know, maybe you like cake. Get yourself some cake. Um... You know, it doesn't even have to be a whole cake. Get like a cupcake. I don't know, whatever. Get you know, whatever you want and just, you know, do a big uh, happy birthday shout out to uh, my buddy Dave there, Lurk on the Threshold. Here's to you, man. Um, happy birthday. All right, uh, I've been going on about how hot it is out here. Uh, it's up to 88 degrees. I thought it'd be getting cooler. I'm not really sure. Um, it's about 10 after 6 right now. Uh, we've got about, uh, I'd say, almost three hours of daylight. Uh, I'm going to be up here, so it should be pretty light. Um, brought a towel, you know, because I was planning on doing, you know, poolside camping. If you're by a pool, you're going to get wet, you want a towel. So I got me a towel. It's going to cross that over there. Got some trunks. Um, we'll figure out how we're going to get these on outside here. Because, you know, if you're going to, like, try and stealth camp on uh, somebody else's porch or something, um, yeah, you don't want to get naked because uh, that's, when, that's when they'll find you. I um, also brought some flip-flops because I don't want to wear my shoes or my boots uh, these are like I think I got these at a dollar store actually you know whatever for what they are man they work um, what I got um, I got the uh, climate insulated static V I'm gonna be sleeping on that I'm just gonna drop this thing right on this deck sleep on it um, again you know climate I don't want to get into it, especially as far as their uh, insulating properties. I just want to use this for comfort. Um, I've got uh, my jungle blanket, which I usually have with me just in case I need it. Um, you know, I guess I could sleep on this. Just use the jungle blanket as a, um, you know, a blanket. Uh, but because there's bugs out here and you know the thermosel is great but i don't completely trust it yet um i got the jungle bag with that netting which you guys have seen oh i also got some of my frog tog ponchos in case it rains maybe i can throw this over my head sweatshirt uh which i probably don't need but since i didn't bring a pillow this could be a pillow uh again northern limits bushcraft and survival thank you again sean so I'm going to throw this back in there uh, along with the jungle blanket. Um, we'll set up the sleep system a little bit later. Uh, what else I got in here? Um, another shirt. Uh, it's just pretty light and a t-shirt. Um, what's up here? Socks. Extra pair of socks. Protect your feet, man. 
protect your feet. Um, first aid kit, you know, it does no good in the backpack. So we'll get the uh, first aid kit out, throw it up here on this table. This was actually a stealth camp on somebody's porch um, and I had to run away. I'm gonna lose a lot of this stuff. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, but like I said, man, this is practice. This is just practice. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite ready to get this out yet, but look at how small this compress, the uh, jungle bag from Snug Pack. There. Um, I think what I'm gonna be doing, uh, more likely than not, as far as, you know, like I said, getting ready for like a stealth camp uh, part uh, type thing is, I'm gonna be doing like a reverse, so getting stuff, seeing what I can fit in this bag and what I can't. Although, I will tell you guys, after walking just a short distance I did across the golf course, it seems like too much. Um, but man, I'm still, I'm really hot. Uh, my clothes are sweaty. And I don't know if you guys remember uh, Survivor Man. Anybody remember Les Stroud? He used to always say, don't sweat. And this thing, um, this moisture wicking whatever shirt is great, but it's not for me. Um, so you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna try and figure out how I can get my trunks on out here so I can go in the pool. Um, you know what? I really don't need to be all that stealthy. Don't get too excited I have underwear on. Man, alive, I can see it now. YouTube, shutting you down for, you know, God knows what. Oh, man. Tell you what, guys, don't get old. Yeah, um, these are the pants. You know, the zip off into the shorts. Um, I, I really don't need to unzip them now. I will say one thing about these. I did say something about these before. These are the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. These are the uh, Columbia uh, Omni Shade or something. You probably can't see that. They're lightweight. They're good for the summer. Uh, one really cool thing about these is when I ate that MRE, and I got violently ill and uh, I threw up uh, in my tent and everywhere else, um, you know, and then had to crawl out through it. Uh, when I had to wash these, uh, somehow, you know, luckily, all the uh, vomit was on the part of the pants that zip off. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure Columbia is not going to be like, hey man, that's a selling point we never thought of, but they should. You know, I brought that poncho with me. I could like string that up or something. There's not enough people out here for it to really matter. I'm just going to step over there and um, put my trunks on. I will not make you guys watch that. Don't worry. That really didn't make that much of a difference. I need to pull them up to threshold the pain. My uh, fruit of loom, these are also, I don't know, moisture wicking or something. They got like a bent, whatever. You guys, you know, if you guys don't know about underwear, um, what to get, I'm the last person that should be telling you that. I'm gonna have to get in this pool and um, cool off and then uh, we'll go from there with, uh, you know, setting everything up for our, you know, stealth camp practice. <coughs> I'll tell you what, man. Um, you know, I broke that thermometer. I know, I'm never gonna live it down. We want a beer tomorrow. This water has got to be 75 to 80, somewhere in there. All right, uh, yeah, I uh, spared you guys watching me get out of the pool. Now that cooled me off, that was pretty nice. Uh, you know, really, if you're in a neighborhood like this, you know, and you're kind of doing like a stealth camp thing out here. I mean, um, you know, like I said, suspend your belief in reality. If you want to use the pool? Uh, use the pool, you know. Uh, don't, you know, be all like sneaky, you know, I'm going to dip in and 
whatever, man, just jump right in, you know? Pretend you own it. <laughs> um, man, I don't know how much of that pool of water I swallowed. Uh, I hope I don't get sick again. Well, we'll find out. You guys all know I'm paying a water bill right now, right? All right, you know, if you're gonna do something like that, piss in somebody else's yard, uh, you should definitely be a lot more discreet than I just was. But you know, man, it happens. Um, you gotta go, you gotta go. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's another tip um, from someone who does not, uh, you know, <coughs> trespass or stall camp or anything like that. Uh, just be very discreet in your, uh, you know, relieving yourself. Um, yeah. Oh, there goes the dog. Thanks. Thank you for your uh, commentary. Yeah. Uh, you know, man alive. But yeah, just uh, be discreet in your peeing. And you know what? Like I just did, don't pee in somebody else's pool. Don't even pee in your own pool. That's just, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. All right. Yeah. I'm going to throw this shirt on here. Um... You know, just, uh, I mean, the thermosel is rocking, there ain't any bugs, but, you know, uh, you guys have all seen this shirt before, uh, this is just, uh, to Eddie Bauer, yeah, Eddie Bauer, like, fishing shirt. Yeah, I got this thing, uh, I think it, like, the Eddie Bauer outlet, uh, like, in Geneva, Elmira, somewhere around there, Waterloo, maybe, I don't know. Um, somebody who lives closer to Rod Cha Cha Chester can tell me where I got it from. But I've had this thing for a while. You know, I burned cigarette holes in it and beer uh, stains, um, fire holes, you know. It's still holding up and it's very cool. It's very nice for this climate. Um, and, it, you know, it, it's good. I actually like it better than the moisture wicking stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do before I start a fire, and I know uh, there's going to be a lot of questions about, you know, having a fire and stuff when you're, you know, pretending to be stealth camping or practice stealth camping or whatever. Um, you know, especially if I go out there, probably won't have a fire. Um, I'm going to uh, try and get um, where I'm going to sleep set up because I really think that I should make sure that I'm going to be comfortable enough to actually sleep out here before I go through the trouble of starting a fire, cooking food and eating and everything. Because uh, if I'm not comfortable and I don't want to do this, um, I'm just going to call it and go home. Um, okay, granted, I'm, you know, already am at home, but you guys know what I mean really uh don't don't be that person that's like you know i gotta suffer through it you know for the experience man life is just too short and unpredictable um you know if you gotta call it if you ever gotta call it and you just gotta go home go home I used to make fun of people that did that um but i was wrong there you go straight from you know the fucking horse's mouth man I was wrong, I admitted I was wrong. Um, yeah, man, call it if you gotta call it. Okay, let's get this uh, sleep system kind of set up here and uh, then we gotta get a fire going and we've got to, um, we gotta make some food. This is probably the uh, longest beer you guys have ever seen me drink. Get an all out there, video. Okay. <laughs> I already took everything out. Okay, uh, first things first. Um, yeah, these are my girlfriend's flip flops. Um, you know, if there's somebody else's flip flops, don't fuck with them, man. Don't fuck with people's shoes. Um, you know, this couch behind me, I could sleep on that if I wanted to. Um, I could sleep on that and that'd be fine. But, um, you know, I, I gotta practice. I gotta practice because uh, as much as I would, you know, I think it'd be cool to do like a self camp or like a hammock thing. Um, 
I'm worried about, uh, you know, setting it up, taking it down and everything. I'm thinking that maybe just uh, sleep on the ground thing might work. So that's pretty much what I'm going to try tonight. So I'm going to use this. Again, you know, it's summer, it's hot. I don't think it's supposed to get... Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to get below 60 tonight. So uh, I should be all right you know, with this and the uh, jungle bag and the jungle blanket. But like I said, man, you know, this is practice. Um, practice with your stuff. I'm not really sure I want to um, sleep with it on this rug. Although, yeah, uh, most normal people, you know, you're in a survival situation and you're stealth camping and you're camping or whatever. Uh, whatever you're doing, man, you definitely want to take advantage of every comfort that you can. Life's um, too short. So, um, you know, I could do that, but I'm going to try not to. I kind of want to see what it's going to be like, you know, to sleep on these boards here. Um, luckily for me, <laughs> the uh, nice people here just happen to leave some uh, beach blankets down here. Obviously, the uh, bag is longer than the pad and everything else I got. But I think I should be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to just grab that um, this hoodie you know, that I got here from my buddy Sean there. Uh, you know, strange cousin in the east. Um, Northern Limits, Bushcraft and Survival. Uh, and I'm going to be using this as a pillow. Just gonna set it right there. And uh, you know, let's check it out. Let's see how comfortable it is. Oh, already just sitting on here. This is nice. Ah. Oh yeah. Oh man, you know, it feels great in my back too. God, this is great. Yeah. Oof. Oh. I think I'm gonna have a really good night. Um, yeah. Oh man, I can fall asleep right here. But look what happened the last time I fell asleep. <laughs> I took a nap in that hammock and I woke up and then all hell broke loose and I threw up everywhere. Okay, so this is good. Uh, sleeping system's all set. We're good to go with that. Um, I'm thinking pretty much now, guys, it's uh, time to get a little fire going and uh, cook some food. I'm going to be using this tonight. Uh, you guys probably remember this. If you don't, you'll be seeing it in just a moment. You guys have all seen this before. Uh, it's one of those little, you know, stick stove type things. I think I got from Amazon. I've used it in uh other videos i'm using it off to know that the pin that falls out take that right out of the bag uh to begin with so let's get her set up and let's see what we can do about a fire i'd like to say that this is titanium but i highly doubt that it is i'm just gonna before i set it up this time make sure all the pins are kind of in where they're supposed to be I mean this one isn't ah uh, it's gonna be a fucking nightmare let me tell you or maybe if I didn't try doing it upside down ah uh, man you know all right that's that's good enough for me 
for right now. Alright. Alright, well, yeah. So for my purposes that'll work. Um But yeah, uh like I said, you know, I got this off of Amazon. It's probably like five, ten bucks, this oak view thing. You guys have seen it in a lot of videos. If you guys know something that's um you know a little bit better, put together better, so I can be falling apart every time, I could be losing the pins and all that stuff, uh, please let me know down in the comments and I will definitely um, buy a new one um, just because I feel like this is something that I really need. But for right now, we're gonna use this thing. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I need in here? Uh, those are socks, which you can use to start a fire, but I'm not gonna. Uh, what I keep up here in the front, um, got some tinder and some fire starting stuff more northern limits uh, bushcraft and survival this this should be good enough to get a fire going um, the other thing though uh, you know to be uh, perfectly honest with you guys um, I do actually have my uh, silky saw um, I didn't bring the uh, Boreal saw. I should have because it's far superior. I don't care what anybody says. Um, I do also have uh, my bushcraft knife, uh, which is probably why this pack's so heavy. And this fucking hammer thing has been in here for way too long. Um, obviously, this is not something I'm going to need. And I'm telling you, man, this thing must weigh at least like three to four pounds so that's ridiculous but you know what i am going to use it to uh process wood with so let me toss it over there i don't really know if anybody's seen this before um you probably have uh this is my uh tops uh cub um knife uh, i've had this for a while uh you know i the sheath got all messed up it's really attached to this pack, um, you know, with the the molly or whatever you call, I have a, a whatever you call it. I got a fire starter in here and a lighter. Uh, I just don't feel like taking it off right now, so I'm just gonna take the knife and we're gonna use this to process some wood with. Uh, I'm gonna grab, you know, I, I know, man, it's ridiculous, but man, it's almost uh, 7.30 right now and I gotta get something going here. So my little uh, tinder thing here, um, it's just, uh, you know, packing material, you know, it's kind of like newspaper. Just gonna lay some down in there. Uh, man, I really gotta get a better one of these things. Or maybe I don't, I don't know, you know. It's outlaw camp. Um, if all you got is all you got, then that's all you got. So, or something like that, I don't know, just use it, you know. I really don't know why I'm getting this elaborate. Uh, I really don't need to be. I'm gonna, uh, because I got this stuff from my buddy Sean, uh, which you guys saw in the last video. Uh, gonna use it again. Northern Limits, Bushcraft and Survival. Great guys. Um, I like to twist this stuff up uh, you know you guys have seen you don't really need to do that 
uh, I don't even really need this right now. Uh, I just want to use it because my buddy sent it to me and I think it's awesome. And some more of this other old packing material. We're just going to like uh, kind of toss in there. This stuff is kind of wet. Um, so already I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, there's really no reason to use wet wood if you have dry wood. Do I want to cook on this? I don't know. Yeah. This stuff, uh, it's a little damp. So uh, I'll get some of this dry stuff here. Just kind of man I love this knife I don't know why I don't use it more Don't do anything I do. If I haven't said that uh, yet, uh, I'm gonna say it right now, don't do anything I do. Uh, since I got this hammer, um, and I really want a hot dog. Man, either I really got to sharpen my uh, bushcraft knife or this knife is in pretty decent shape. It's almost like I wasn't gonna be able to break that. So we wanna get some food going. Uh, I got this little uh, Eltoid stand here, Eltoid Smalls apparently, uh, with some matches um, and a striker. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get this going here. Uh, that's not the way you do it, um, but that's how I'm gonna do it. Just drop a match in there. Yeah, just uh, drop a match in there and uh, it will, uh, you know, pick up on these Inferno Discs. Inferno Discs? I really gotta figure out what these things are called. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, I can smell it. It's, this is awesome. Oh uh, yeah, man. I'm gonna get some of this uh, wet stuff that I got here, just kinda dump her in the top get rid of it I you know obviously obviously this ain't gonna be an awesome campfire but it's gonna be good enough for me for my little you know pretend stealth camp purposes yeah this thing uh, it's pretty nifty I like it uh, I just like something that's a little bit more sturdy and um, you know the pins aren't falling out all the time That is a pretty cool thing. Pretty sure in here I got, yep, got the hot dog stick, which you guys have seen. Um, I'm just gonna, well, you know, it'll be fine. You know, fuck man, God made dirt, dirt don't hurt. Heat kills, throw it back on the grill. Okay, so this here, uh, what I got, um, again, it's a little uh, idea of putting, uh, putting the uh, food in uh, a dry bag just to keep everything else that you got uh, from getting wet. Uh, I stole that from El Chafe. It's something I never would have thought of. I think it's a good idea. Um, 
I got me some uh, tortillas here. I know, they're tortillas. Uh, these are um, Mission, you know, Mission Tortillas. Everybody knows that brand. But these are the uh, Sweet Hawaiian uh, brand of tortillas. I don't think they need to be refrigerated, so I'm going to toss them up on the couch. Um, I got um, one of my little Nalgene squeeze bottles, some uh, spicy brown mustard. Not the best mustard in the world. This probably came from Aldi's. I don't know. But I got it. Um, hot dogs. I got three hot dogs. These are... Uh, I don't know the name brand of these hot dogs. Something that starts with a Z. Uh, but, yeah, man. They're not long, but they're thick. Uh, really, you know. Would you rather have a pencil or half a banana? <laughs> I really should process some more of this wood down, uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, got my hot dog stick here. Yeah, man, I love these hot dogs. These are pretty good, you know, for something you can get from Aldi's. So you guys have all seen this stick before. Um, I guess now I'm going to have to wait until I get some flames or more coals or something. Because I don't want this thing tasting like smoke. Although, we are outlaw camping, so does it really matter? Nah. Let's just set this fucker up to cook. Oh, look at that! That's pretty fucking nifty right there. Um, so apparently this hot dog fork will sit, like, right there. And, yeah. I don't know. Oh, thanks everybody for joining me. Um... You know, if I haven't said that before, I'm sure I did. But yeah, uh, I don't need this giant backpack. Um, we're gonna see how it goes sleeping out here tonight. And I'm really thinking that... I just need the jungle blanket, the sleeping pad, something to use as a pillow. And I should be okay. And I don't need... I mean, you know, as long as it's summer. Or I'm dressed properly. Um, I don't need this giant backpack and all this stuff. Uh, I could bring like, you know, a couple cans of sardines. Yeah, see I'm learning a lot. This is why you practice with your stuff. Uh, we're gonna see how the night goes. Okay, that hot dog's really sizzling. I feel like I should probably flip it over. Oh man, look at that. I burned that. Uh, I'm not a fan of burned hot dogs, but hey, whatever, you know, we're camping. Uh, I, I think these are one of those, they pop when they open hot dogs. I'm assuming that's popped. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to uh, just kind of set that there. Again, don't do anything I do. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that. And we're going to eat this hot dog. All right, let's get over here. Let's have some hot dog. Ooh. All right, so, uh, yeah, I got one of these, uh, uh, you know, the Mission Tortillas. Yeah, I know it's tortilla, but I like to say tortilla. I'm really not concerned about germs or anything because I don't think I can get any sicker than I did eating that uh, MRE. Got my mustard. Um, it's probably way too much. No, that's not, that's not going to attract bugs or anything. Okay, um, just gonna kind of flop that on there. I don't know, 
know, man. That don't look too bad to me. Sorry, guys. If you thought this was ghetto before, um, you know, if I've never said this, just, you know, hold on to your capelouche, because it's going to get a lot more ghetto -er. <laughs> So let's give this uh, hot dog a shot. It's fucking delicious. Um, I'm just looking over there. It looks like we might be getting a sunset, sort of. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. I'm thinking the hot dog probably could be cooked a little more. Uh, but that's all right. I think 70 yeah the uh, pocket bellows thing that came with this stove uh, definitely the best part about this stove um, you guys will see this again at some point in the future Yeah, it's not bad. So as as I get going again. Got the fire going again here. Um, you guys saw I use the uh, pocket bowls there. Well, I mean, I use a little lighter part on it. I'll show you that. Um, it just seems like a better pocket bellows to uh, bring along with me than the one that does not have the little lighter on it, you know, because, uh, hey, two is one, one is none. So, yeah, it's a couple of minutes after nine, 70 degrees, um, ate those hot dogs. They were uh, pretty fucking delicious, I'll tell you that. Um, bring another beer here. Girlfriend should be home pretty soon. Uh, you know, lucky us. Uh, you know, I'm really not doing this fire for too much uh, ambiance because this is, you know, supposed to be the uh, self can practice. Um, you know, the weather keeps saying, you know, rain. Ten no rain. I don't think it's going to rain. Um, but... I was thinking I got that uh, poncho, so if I needed to, I can just throw that over the top of me. At least my face, so that doesn't get wet. But, pretty nice night so far. Uh, pretty successful. Um, you know, I definitely learned that I bring way too much stuff. So I'm going to try and cut that down. Um... I got those two, like, uh, man purse type things. You guys will see those coming up. And if uh, the night sleeping out here and the uh, jungle bag works, um, even if I have to use that sleeping pad, I think it'll work out okay. But, you know, fuck it, man. We'll find out. Uh, I could process this piece of wood down, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to toss it right in the top here. Pretty much, I'm just going to hang out by this fire a little bit. Um, like I said, uh, well, you know, through the magic of Indiglo, um, it's not too much after nine. So, I got this beer. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to sit by my fire. And then, uh, you know, we'll probably retire over there. Oh, yeah. And my cigarette went out.
you hear like neighborhood children wandering around. Oh, now they're laughing at me. I'm the last person they want to be laughing at. I'll tell you that. Get down on your belly. You hear that? He's like, you get down on your belly. And he's like, I will. Hope the camera picked that up. Uh, yeah, so, alright guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna, uh, burn this fire out, finish this beer, uh, see what happens when the girlfriend comes back, and then, uh, hopefully I'll just get to enjoy a nice, peaceful, relaxing, um, evening, uh, sleeping out here on this, uh, hard wooden deck, minus any, uh, you know, severe gastrointestinal distress. Are you video recording me doing my chores? I would if I could find my uh, <laughs> flashlight. So somewhere around here is uh, my headlamp. I don't know where. Can't seem to find it. There's the girlfriend in the pool. Doing her pool chores. Uh, she's covering up uh, the pool with the uh, solar cover because, as we all know, um, yeah, at nighttime the sun comes out and yeah, and solar's the uh, cover. No, it keeps <laughs> the hot air into the pool, the hot water. It doesn't evaporate. It make it cold or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. I wish I could find my good headlamp. I had it out of my head. I don't know where, the, where it went. What are you going to do now that you're stuck in there like that? I'm going to crawl out that side. Right. Don't worry about me. I honestly have no clue what I did with uh, my good headlamp. I'm rocking my uh, piece of shit um, Olight headlamp. Which is why everything looks terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know where it went, we'll find it, it's got to be around here somewhere, but yeah, pretty much, uh, that's it, um, we're going to get some sleep here, it is, uh, 10, 1025, so I'm going to check the temperature, and then I'm going to, uh, crawl into this, and hopefully, uh, everything will work out. I'll be able to get uh, some decent sleep, and this will lead to an actual, um, you know, stealth camp type camp. Uh, if not, I'm still sleeping next to a pool, so I'm still doing some poolside camping, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right, I will catch you guys when I am about to hit the sack. Another thing I wanted to mention about back here before I uh, you know go to sleep um, it's got this eyeglass compartment here um, whatever uh, but yeah this is uh, keep my glasses in here and a spare pair of contacts uh, I wear the daily contacts if I haven't mentioned that before so that's kind of nice. I still think that this backpack is a little bit too much. Got the uh, correct headlamp. Um, I love this thing. I really got to do more of a sort of like a headlamp review comparison or something one of these days. But that's where I'm going to sleep or at least try to sleep. I mean, if it doesn't work out, there's always, you know, I can sleep on that couch. I could sleep in one of these chairs. I could sleep on this thing if it were, you know, some type of, uh, you know, stealth camp type, you know, uh, you know, trespass camp or whatever the hell you want to call it. But I'm fairly confident that this is going to work out, so I'm going to try it and um, let me get in there. Ugh. All right, everybody. Um... It is 
1045 right now. Um, just getting this unzipped so I can get in it. Well, are you going? Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. This should be interesting. Christ. You know, you think that by now, I mean, I love this snug pack stuff, but you think by now somebody would come up with some kind of technology, like a snagless zipper. I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait, where's my. Ah, oh, goddamn. Oh. Oof. Has a monkey tried to fuck a football yet in one of these videos? Uh, if they haven't, here you go. So, I'm going to be using my uh, Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival Hoodie as a pillow. It's pretty uh, warm. Oh, man, I can see the bugs everywhere. I still got the thermosel going. Uh, put a new pad and stuff in that. Um, oh, alright, guys. Uh, thanks for putting up with all of this ridiculousness. Um, I really appreciate it. I think that this, uh, somehow, oh, well, you know what, let's take my fucking hat off, I don't know where the headlamp is, it don't matter, my glasses, I'm just gonna take off here, I'm just gonna put in my hat, cause, you know, whatever, um, yeah, let's see, obviously if I was in a bug swarm, um, yeah, this wouldn't work. Oh, what the hell? This is why you practice with your stuff, kids. God damn it. Oh, see, yeah. Did somebody make some, like, snagless zippers? God, fuck. See? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Alright. Ugh. Oh, look at this. This is nice. I think. Uh, either I have not uh, drank enough or I drank too much. Um, I don't know. I can't really seem to get this little part here, uh, which you may or may not be able to see closed. Oh, come on. Hey, I did it. All right. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to sleep and, um, man, I'll see all you guys in the morning. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I think, I hope it's got to be better than all the other times, right? Okay. Uh, so this is not the end. Um, uh, hey guys, um, fuck, it's, uh, 2 a.m., I don't know if any of the, uh, water down here is coming out, but it just fucking dumped rain all over me, um, so much for my idea of, I'll just grab my poncho and throw it on me, which is, you know, over there. So everything is uh, pretty much soaked. Um, but yeah, everything uh, is pretty much soaked, including me. Uh, the rain started about 1.30. I was, uh, I was, you know, pretty comfortable. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go through in the morning. I'll explain, you know. The thing with the bag and sleeping with that bug net, it's not as uh, comfortable or as ideal as uh, you would think. Uh, it's actually pretty miserable, um, but, you know, it's working out okay, uh, until the rain started, and, uh, you know, luckily, um, you know, despite what I said before, the girlfriend put the, uh, solar cover on the pool, and, uh, I could hear the rain just coming towards me, so I knew what was going on, um, I tried to last, you know, as long as I could, um, 
but yeah the rain it, it just the sheets of it just started coming down so uh, I'm soaked uh, that's what well, I had a dry cigarette though <laughs> <You know>. hey <laughs> there's my headlamp that I couldn't find in the middle of the night yeah I functioned great at 2 in the, uh, two in the morning um, yes yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for right now um, so yeah there's nothing waterproof about that sleeping bag <laughs> I guess I'm um, really not going to be able to do this without some kind of shelter because uh, you can never tell. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go inside. Um, it's wet. Everything's wet. I'm just going to leave everything like it is. Yeah, not worry about it in the morning. That's what I do best, I guess. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, but, you know, tomorrow's another day. Or I guess, you know, seeing as how it's like 2 2 30 in the morning right now uh today's another day so um i'll get back to you guys when it's daylight so all right guys um yeah i, I just i haven't been having luck with this uh, with this camping stuff at least these past uh, couple videos but um you know what you know i i still had fun i guess for the most part um but um you know it could have been worse um if I had had some type of, you know, shelter thing over me, even just a tarp thrown on top of me, that that would have been so much better than how it turned out. Um, you know, I think I mentioned at one point, I was like, oh, yo, yeah, if it does rain, I could just grab my poncho and put that over me. Uh, when that rain came in, I, I didn't even have a chance. I was just so wet, I couldn't even grab the poncho that was right next to me. Um, but, you know, it, it for a disaster, it wasn't... I guess that's disastrous. But yeah, guys, it's uh, hot out here. Again, uh, 87 degrees right now. You know, it's around noon, uh, which is good for drying the stuff out. I'm so glad I washed these blankets. These things, you know, they're great for like the beach or whatever. Uh, for using, they just throw down uh, when it's gonna rain. Bad idea. Um, because if I had brought something like this, or both of these, uh, even worse, you know, on my, you know, stealth camp or whatever I'm gonna try. Um, yeah, there's no way. I uh, they gotta weigh like 40 pounds when they're wet. So I would have had to abandon those, I guess, if I was gonna flee. Um, you know, I got a towel that's hanging out. I know it looks like a refugee camp, but it always does. Um, you know, the sleeping pad over here, which I got deflating. Uh, this thing, you know, as far as, you know, for comfort, um, not bad not bad sleeping on the uh you know the deck um i think that uh if i was sleeping on like grass or something or softer ground um, it'd be fine um i'm a side sleeper so that it does cause me a little you know, some problems but i'm kind of you know training myself to sleep more on my back for situations like this um let me tell you about this jungle bag here, which uh, I'm, you know, I'm not giving up on it. It's pretty much almost dried out. Uh, um, the bug net thing, uh, definitely, it takes some getting used to because it's kind of draped on your face. Um, also, this thing, uh, last night, um, it didn't get below 60 degrees. And um, this was, I, I was almost too warm. Uh, I mean, I was just sleeping in my pants, um, you know, which are pretty lightweight and uh i think i had a t-shirt um you know soaked but anyway yeah uh, in here it was almost too warm um and with this laying on my face and of course you know it, as long as this thing is um yeah i'll show you you know, you know definitely longer than the uh um sleeping pad but as long as this is you know i you can see here i have the tendency to go down where my head was underneath this and um really hard to breathe I, I had to keep pushing up but um you know i guess i i ended up actually just unzipping this at some point just so i could stick my head out and get more air um it, this mesh works great keeps the bugs off um but it's it's definitely it takes some getting used to breathing i think uh if it was a little bit colder i would have been a lot more comfortable but um you know that and then trying to get out of this thing like when it rained um I, 
you know, it seems, yeah, now, but when you're in there, you're just trying to unzip, you know, this part to get to this zipper, which I didn't have flipped inside like I should have. Uh, you know, this is why you practice with your stuff, man. You gotta practice with your stuff so you know how to use it. All right, outlaws and campers, um, you know, thanks for joining me and sticking through this ridiculous stuff with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, like, comment. Uh, so yeah, man, just uh, make sure you're subscribed, stay subscribed, tell your friends, tell your enemies, you know, outlaw camp. Uh, expatriates are welcome. Cold beer, no extradition. What more could you ask for? Cool. So, um, you know what? I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to end this. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you in the next ridiculous outlaw camp misadventure. Um, I'm going to this pool. I want to see what happens with the shirt on. So, hey, uh, see you guys next time.